Hi, it's Rebecca from RebeccaAdamsBiz.com and in this video I'm talking to you about do you reflect and evaluate your week and your month as you go along and the reasons why you should. So I'm going to share with you, personally share with you, a planner of mine from last year and how and why I evaluate and reflect on the previous month. Okay, every Sunday I evaluate with my planner, I evaluate the week. So I have a look at the week, what I've achieved, what worked, what didn't. I'm just looking at you know, good things that happened within the week. And I tick off because I've got a personal to-do list and a, and a work to-do list um, what I actually achieved. And nine times out of ten, I'll, I'll tick everything off. But it's great to actually summarise the things, the good things that happened because then you're ending the week on a positive. Now, I know a lot of people talk about negative, positive, and it can get a bit, oh, really? But, you know, it really is truly great on your head and your mindset and everything. So I'm going to share with you, this is, I use passionplanner.com for my planner. And I'll show you this year's, I'll show you an empty one. This is the evaluation for the month. So you've got monthly um, monthly reflection. And the questions are, what was the most memorable part of the year? Uh, sorry, of the past month, describe it. What were the three biggest lessons you've learned in the past month? Review your planner for the past month and assess your priorities. Are you happy with how you spent your time? And if not, what steps can you take next month to adjust them? So again, it's working out what did and didn't work, which is great, because then you can get rid of the stuff that didn't work. How are you different between this past month and the month before it? So again, it's about reflection on yourself and progression for you. Um, what and who are you especially great for, grateful for this past month? Um, name three things you can improve on the upcoming month and what are concrete actions you can take towards these improvements? Um, and then from one to 10, how do you overall um, how do you feel overall about the past month? So it's a great way of reflecting, as it says, reflecting, but also evaluating what did and didn't work, how you feel about the past month, whether you feel a bit sad, whether you, whether you, you didn't get your projects and tasks finished, and then you actually summarise them, well, why didn't I get them finished? You know, what did I do? You know, X, Y, and Z, it goes on from there. One thing I also do in my planner, and I'll show you, is that I love, in my planner, I love colour. And I'm very, you know, vibrant and vivid colours and things. So what I do, ignore my writing, my daughter can't read my writing, um, is I actually use different colour pens. I use smiley faces, I use emojis, and I fill it all in there. And basically, it's how do you feel? So I use, like, phenomenal, amazing, excited you know, fantastic things like that. And then also what's the memorable point? And I pinpoint um, and bullet point some of the really positives that happen within the within the month. I try not to focus on negatives, um, but three things that I will tell you what I wrote. I'm reading these direct from my planner from last year. So what were the three biggest lessons you've learned the past month? Number one is to keep focused and determined on my direction and what I'm learning to do for my business. Number two is to focus on copy to generate business leads, more business leads and clients. And number three is to stay true to myself. So again, it's about not worrying about the competition. The only competition you've got is the person you look at in the mirror but also being authentic and being true. And already on this video, I've done a couple of stumbles, but I don't edit my videos. I know at the moment I've got no music intros and outros going on. I probably will um, soon, but you know, I don't edit the videos. I bullet point things. I may have a couple of things written down, which you'll see me glance down at. But apart from that, they're all me talking. I could talk for England, so it's like, it's just, it's much more authentic to me, as though you're sat right in front of me, we're having a coffee, and we're having a, a chat, basically. And that's how I like my videos to come across. So being true to myself, I can honour that every single day, because I am who I am. I'm 
the most sincere person you'll get. If you ask me a question, be prepared for the answer because I'll tell you the truth. I don't lie, it's not in me. I say it as it is, which sometimes could be my downfall. Uh, maybe you've got flaws, um, but you know, sometimes within the flaw, there's a positive within that. I mean, I'll say it as it is and I don't lie. So if you tell me, you know, does this look okay? What do you want me to say? <laughs> because whatever you want, I, I will say, uh, no, actually it looks awful or whatever. I won't pacify you. That's the thing. And although that may be my downfall and people are going, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. If you look at the flip side, it's like a coin. If you look at the flip side, it's actually, well, actually she's genuine, she's honest. You get your honest op opinion and her honest opinion off Rebecca, go to her because she'll give you the answer. Whether you, she won't, you know, sugarcoat it and give you chocolate with sprinkles on. She'll actually tell you the truth. And that's what a lot of people like me for. They know I'm genuine and honest. And they go, right, well, you know, can you help me with this? What's, what's the issue? And they'll say X, Y, and Z. And they'll go, right, that, that one there. And then I'll, you know, it depends what the scenario is. But yeah, staying true to myself, I'm rambling. Staying true to myself is something that I can genuinely, honestly, and do. But the one thing in the planner that I do, I write down everything I've achieved within the month. Because then at the end of the year, when you get to the end of the year one, you know, when you get to the end of the year, it's even much more ingrained and it's much more instilled and really cemented in there. So you're ready for the following year. Um, so, you know, it's all about evaluating and reflecting every single week, every single month, and it's highly effective and motivating, inspiring and empowering yourself if you do it. So you can um, focus much more completely on things that are working, you know where your time is best spent, and it's another way of kind of really um, getting to grips with your life, your business, your clients, your customers, your family, your children, and so on and so on. So there is a ripple effect, and it does actually work because nine times out of ten you'll be going across the week fine and then you'll get to the month and if you don't evaluate if someone says well what did you do last month you're like oh I don't know and then you're thinking whereas if you've evaluated the the month at hand so say for example January and you're in February if you've evaluated January you know how many tasks you finished, how many projects, um, what you've worked on, what you've got forward, looking forward to, um, how many clients you got that month, how many sales you got that month, and so on and so on. So it's progression as you go along. And it really, really, um, it's absolutely brilliant. It really gets you pumped and fired up and motivated so that you can go into the following month really, really focused, determined, and got fire in your belly to go ahead and do whatever you want. So have a try. Think what you, you know, let me know what you think. Have a try. Um, comment below and let me know how you've got on. Um, and yeah, just let me know how you, if you don't evaluate, let me know how you do after doing a month of it or two months or three months. Let me know how you get on. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video with friends and I'll see you soon.